hello everyone today we will talk about preparing commercial growers mix with ph control it means that mix itself regulate the ph of media or in soil you can say so some of the component increase or decrease the ph of our growing media or soil so two component are critical for lowering the ph as we know that water supply to our homes having ph 7 or more and most of the compost what we are using here are having higher ph so over the period of time that ph increases in the soil and uh, you can say that in higher ph most of the nutrients are not optimally absorbed by plant so it affect the growth of overall plant so what uh, is required for rose plant that uh, ph of the media should be slightly lower than 7 so it should be slightly acidic where all nutrients would be available to rose plant at optimum level so we have to prepare mix accordingly and uh, two component basically lowers the ph in npk combination one is uh, ammonium sulfate or sulfate formulation of fertilizers and second is elemental sulfur or plain sulfur which uh, convert to sulfate and it increases the acidity of plant here here in the diagram you can see that urea and ammonium fertilizer converted to nitrate and uh, in the process that hydrogen atom is gained means it is positively charged so soil acidity will increase if this nitrate is leached out from soil or uh, potting media if this nitrate is absorbed then uh, this uh, additional hydrogen ion will be consumed so net uh, ph uh, will not uh, drop uh, you can say and uh, this can or sodium nitrate or any of the nitrate fertilizer it won't have uh, effect on ph you can say if we are using elemental sulfur in our soil or we are using sulfate based uh, fertilizers then here also you can see that hydrogen atom is gained only if sulfate is leached out and uh, it won't be absorbed by plant if it is absorbed then net uh, result is uh, uh, no change in ph and uh, if uh, sulfate is uh, leached out then uh, it would uh, gain uh, positively charged hydrogen so net uh, acidity will increase or you can say ph would decrease otherwise uh, there is no change in uh, ph value
in my previous video i have discussed about this commercial rose growers using npk ratio 312 for commercial rose growing and it is true for other roses for optimum flowering we should maintain this much ratio in that video i have also discussed that p or phosphorus is very less uh, required by rose plant uh, based on tissue culture of uh, roses i will provide link to the video here itself so don't worry so here is the formulation that uh, we have to take most of the sulfate fertilizer like ammonium sulfate this single super phosphate potassium sulfate and uh, in the screen you can see how much quantity we have to take that final npk ratio if you are taking according to this slide so effective npk ratio we will get 16 dash 5.5 dash 11 which is roughly a ratio of 312 and in this ratio you can add 100 g of epsom salt and 40 g of combi 2 micronutrients and 20 g calcium sulfate or gypsum this ready made mix of micro and macro nutrients you can use year long for growth of your roses the additional calcium available in gypsum and single super phosphate will balance the ph if it is going below certain limit so here that uh, sulfate combination is more so calcium is added here to balance the ph that application we have to give big plant or fully mature plant 3 g or less per week per plant and in cinder media you can divide the feeding why this uh, phosphorus ratio is uh, less than potassium and uh, nitrogen that uh, if uh, phosphorus is increases in soil that will inhibit the absorption of iron which is more pronounced in hot days or in summer month that in summer month you can see that symptom of leaf chlorosis that is due to high phosphorus content what i feel as per my experience and it has nothing to do with lack of iron in media or you can see higher ph this leaf chlorosis symptom is typical of soil media roses and uh, in cinder media you have to provide time to time micronutrients that will balance out but in soil media this high phosphorus inhibits the absorption of iron that you have to keep in mind that's all friend for today we will meet again thank you